everyone and welcome to another playthrough of Space Hulk Ascension from 2014. This is Fork Band steering wheel I, and I have finally figured out why I didn't have um, power source in the previous playthrough and that's because the auto load, uh, what you call it, auto load uh, button was an F9 and that's the same button that I used to start my recordings on this computer so that's why there was a what you call it a mixture that once i started the recording it also decided ah you're gonna reload your autosave so uh, so i had to change those buttons anyway so we got we have two options to choose from and i think we're gonna go with um oh this one hard uh, we're gonna uh, wait for that one then we're gonna go with the knowledge is a weapon contact has been lost with the cat unit carrying vital data retrieve it so the CAT unit, or the CAT unit, is uh, like a, what you call it, scanner that they usually place within... Uh, uh, we, can, uh, we can start playing it, uh, and then we can... Uh, it doesn't really matter which we go for it, but we're gonna go with Seneca. I, I'm, I'm gro grown uh, fond of them. Let's go there. Uh, Briefing. While your squads were destroying the Savior Pod, cyber altered task units were dispatched to sweep, sweep the compartments closest to the control zone. The mission is to identify the best way to proceed into the Fortress of Desolation and discover any passageways the gene stealers could use to ambush advancing Ultramarine forces. One of the CAT units sweeping the main arterial enclosures has fallen out of contact. Data is uh, it was gathering looked promising and it must be located uh, so that the tech marines can analyze the information. The squad has been ordered to search the area and retrieve the cat. Sergeant of the squad, accept your orders. So uh, the cat unit is like a scanner device made uh, made to scan the thing to look for uh, vital clues and such. So we start over here. Ready as commanded. Uh, we get out there, I believe. Wonder where the cat unit might be done. So now, let's see. We have one door there. We have one door there. Oh Jesus! I really don't like that. Uh, it's so easy. All right, we play the sergeant over here. Good, he is in the, the way that I want him to. Oh, there's a door in all directions. This is bad. Real bad. Uh, oh yeah. No! I did not want you to. Uh, I had. Uh, that I even have to do this. The Emperor's finest. I this is one of the things I really dislike I about this fail. game. That uh, you have no command. undo button. And if you I it's very fail. easy to accidentally press things like that. Alright, so you have three more action points to go. We have no idea where the enemies are. Now I actually wish that he was there, but Clear of path. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Thankfully, he can take over the path. The path of um uh, see shooting down the you have Worthless. I'm gonna need to up your uh, Watching for enemy contact. Can open this door. You might be wondering where they will come from. Now we know that there's a nest over here at least. Uh, let's see, we have still four, so we can do a focused uh, aim fire at this store. Or a flesh. Thankfully he has a, a, a power sword and that usually gives a little bit of a bonus when it comes to uh, uh, when you're getting close combat with the attorneys. However, he's uh, facing the wrong way, of course he is. Oh, they are not 
come just yet. All right, uh, you are. Now comes the question: If we're gonna keep on him moving this direction here, and maybe place a uh, one of those uh, scanner thingies, server skulls, keep on tracking on the animals over here. Meanwhile, we're gonna continue walking forward with him. He has the worst uh, perception ever. We're gonna keep an eye over here, but first of all, we're gonna try and uh, uh, get this door open so we can actually see the enemy when they come. The enemy will fall before me. Uh, you meanwhile, uh, let's see, we don't want to split them up too much. So we're gonna move you forward a little bit. And here we have the enemies coming, so that's good. We're gonna keep him over here. Meanwhile... Scanning for enemy movement. Flamer will be uh, standing in reserve. Meanwhile, you are gonna move forward also two tiles. And then you're gonna... Well, I don't think there will be any enemies coming anytime soon. I think it's more important that we get the door open. Oh, you still have more points to Overwatch. So we have everyone except the flaming guy in Overwatch. We can move him forward. We can uh, assist him in the middle uh, while these three are uh, moving forward. These two are our cover faces at the moment. See, here they come. Oh man, they're going to this door now. They're smart. Well, that means that we need to move you backwards if you're gonna survive. Still, uh, it's not enough. Holding position. I prefer to move him far further back. Meanwhile, we're gonna move you over here so you have a better angle. Then we put you in over. Securing area. Flaming guy, move you over here. Clear a path. Oh, there's two nests around here. See, that's the cat unit, I imagine. So that's why we should, that's where we want to go out. So we want to go in this direction here. And we need to re eradicate these first and then try and move in that direction, all of them at the same time. Can't leave anyone behind or else they're just gonna die. This is a very tight situation. All right, there is no turnips at the moment close by, so we're gonna reload first of all. Clear to fire. And then we move forward actually. Moving to target coordinates. Can you fire even? No, you are not in that position. Oh, this is a this is a bad plan all around. It feels like. We should have gone in this direction instead of uh, having him come here. Uh, can I move you backwards? Uh, backtrack. Can I backtrack you as well? We should have put placed the sergeant here, just uh, or here. We should have placed him, uh, have him ready. We could restart the match, uh, we wouldn't lose much of it, uh, and I think we would be better off it. I think we're gonna do that. Oh, damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, it's good that it saves after each turn, but we do like this then.
Sergeant of the Squad, accept your orders. Alright. Now I know how to do this. Uh, yes, it's a bit of cheating. Uh, and I might even cut away the parts uh, about me failing the first time because now I know much better to how to do it. Terminator ready. So, uh, flamer at the back, and then there. I shall not fail. All right, you are gonna open this door. You have two more rounds to go. Either I move him forward, or we shoot at the door. Can you sh I think we're gonna shoot at the door. Yeah, that was a good choice of us. You, meanwhile, are gonna open this door. And you're gonna place uh, one of these. We're gonna shoot the door. Shut the door. Of course, you're worthless at shooting the doors. Then we'll yeah, no one. Oh. You, meanwhile, are gonna go for open this door. And go and open this door. We're gonna make an aggressive move here. Can you open the door? You can shoot the door, though. Can make an aim, aim fire. Uh, first of all, then we're gonna get you over here. Uh, we know from past experiences that the tyranids won't come in here in on the first try. So I think a, an aggressive move here would be the better choice. Well, if you can't open the door, then you will do a focused fire. Flame, dude. Gonna do a 180, turn around. Do I feel confident? No, I do not. So the flaming guy has one more step he can go. I have movement, brothers. Uh, here they come. You first of all, you're gonna uh, put you out of your misery and uh, put you in aim fire at this door. <laughs> You cannot see the enemy just yet. So we're gonna move you back one tile, Advanced, give you one more tile to actually survive. For enemy movement. See, you can actually see into this room, so you don't actually need to be here. That will give you one more chance to survive. So, Go to Overwatch. Now I uh, depend on that you don't uh, screw up here. Could there be that there's a, what you call it, a ventilation shaft that all only the uh, uh, gene steels can come through here? It would make a lot of sense, actually. Uh, here you have the nests. Of course you do. Uh, we're gonna move a, a little bit forward and then we're gonna place a beacon later on in front of here. Uh, to... Overwatch protocol initiated. Like that, yeah. As I, mean, as I figured, it would be. Uh, then we're gonna put you on watch. Keep our uh, all our uh, angles uh, there. Oh, they're gonna come in this direction. I imagine to go into the sergeant. Uh, reload. Resuming fire. You're still alive. Good. They're gonna come from here then. So, meanwhile, uh... oh man, I can't really do any tactical decisions. This is really hard because I have too few soldiers that need to cover every angle that we're walking in. Uh, and if I'm not doing that, I need to sacrifice some of them. Realize I haven't played this in a long time. Uh, 
Well, it would be that they try to neutralize these two areas here before going there. Oh, there's a nest. It all depends on if they will spawn here or not, because he will not be f uh, around far enough. He has no points left. You have six points left. Uh, What's down here? Oh, it's an, a dead end corridor. Well, we could do it like that. Uh, we slowly advance. When we put him over here, then he flame down the corridor and then rush forward. We could do that. Gives us a little bit of uh, time. You still have two more? Well, give you a more fighting chance. <laughs> One thing that bugs me is that I actually changed uh, no the, the the gene stealers to have a, not uh, other color combination, but they still have their old ones. Well, we could do the, the flaming trick now. Could do that. It will be very risky to put him like that. But, we can do that. You still have two more to go. I think it's... Uh, the enemy will fall before me. More important to do that. You need to reload. And then you move to forward uh, three tiles. Now comes the question, can you still fire? Yes you can. We want a... Uh, do we want a wide spread or a long spread is the question. The problem is that the, the turnits that you see over here, they could make a tr try and make a turn for the flamethrower if we wake it too far. If we wake it too close, then it will lose all effect that we need it to, to be. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. He can't walk that far in any way, so... Move forward. You're reloaded. You're reloaded. And you're reloaded. Alright, let's see what the turn is try to Ah, uh, here they come. Here they come. Now we're gonna go for the long. I'm gonna block that path. So they can't respawn. You meanwhile... They're gonna be spawning from this area now. They're gonna take us from behind. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn it. Obstruction removed. Oh, you have very little to do there. It could be that we try and pull these back, have him cover us from behind, because they will be coming from this area and this area down here. That could be um, a thing that we could do. They didn't do that. The luck. Affirmative. Thankfully, the flamethrower guy has a lot of uh, action points. No, I don't want to fist him. I wanted to flame him. This is the only thing you can, you can do. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna die. 
do it like this we auto save a quick save and see how it goes oh he can attack uh, he can only reload that I'm not losing my flamethrower guy just that easily. Yes. Is he gonna die each turn? I should have saved before I walked over there. If I only knew. Because in the previous game that wasn't a problem, you could uh, still fire from this angle. Alright, try again. Ah, it, it works! This is why you should always uh, reload your save sometimes. Okay, you are still one point uh, ahead. So we're gonna focus fire on this door then. Now that these two have been nullified, we're gonna take you out of your overwatch. Open door. See, now we're gonna pull you back. Then we're gonna replace uh, this guy over here. You're gonna go out of Overwatch. Man, the, the one thing I really like about this game, unlike the first game, is that uh, you can gain more action points each uh, for each level up, and I love that fact. Initiating attack protocol. Uh, something tells me they're either coming this that angle or in this angle. Place it like this. And then we're gonna slowly back him, him, him up. I'm gonna place him in Overwatch later on. Here we can actually place a beacon, so we keep track of these uh, nest areas Security next area. turn. Meanwhile we're gonna pull you back over here. So now we have lesser areas to worry about while we move. Move your whole squad, that is. You have an enemy. Nice. And uh, let's see, you still have two action points, and then we put you in position. Let's see what this. Oh, it ends there. Hmm. So, uh, we need to move on in this corridor over here, we can't uh, fall behind. Okay, so we're gonna leave the flame guy like this, so once we escape he's gonna flame down this corridor so he gets a couple of more uh, well, you got uh, opportunities to move before the enemies do. You're still in Overwatch, you are gonna... Continue like this. And in single file we're gonna move them backwards. And we're gonna let the sergeant catch up with us too. So he's gonna be the one covering from behind.
since we're on no, um, what do you call it? Resuming fire. He's gonna be forever stuck there, it feels like. Uh, well, uh, we could still always move on with these ones. Securing area. Now I wonder if I should have moved on in these two areas so I have uh, from both angles. Decisions, decisions. Uh, now I think it's better to have a tight squad like this. Hopefully they won't Stay die. Alert, brothers. Going into Overwatch. He's gonna be hard to pull back, considering that he will always have enemies coming for him. Meanwhile, you're gonna continue our weapon functional. Move you over here. Keep on nullifying it. Keep on hostile moving. targets ahead. Well, I think it's worth it to if if we're gonna move, we're gonna do it now. So, let's see, it's an open door there, so that means that they're gonna come like this. Uh, we're gonna place one of them shooting down this corridor over here. Hopefully, once they stop coming from this angle here, we can start pulling back the sergeant, so he won't uh, be cut down when uh, we try and move him. Weapon at the ready. It's better to move you. Uh, okay, so either I turn him or uh, I shoot. Taking I position. Can't move these two. Keep that in mind because otherwise we lose the nullifying factor here. Target. That's easy to forget sometimes. Okay, now turn in the right direction like this. Good. Now you are gonna cover down this corridor over here. First of all, reload. reload. Then or what? Stay alert, brothers. You on the other hand can do like this. You are going to fire on this uh, door, you can do a uh, aimed fire, and then we put on the You haven't fired anyone just yet, so you can move you back one. I think we can move two actually, because the, the enemy uh, are too far away to be of a uh, nuanced just yet. Okay. There's a lot of what you call math in this game that you don't expect. You have to think about how many tiles can I move, when can I move, how can I move them without exposing them. Uh, there's a lot of tactician to the game also. The machine spirits are I think this game like unjustifiedly has gotten a lot of uh, bad... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Either I shoot and have a better aiming and uh, worse than this, or I just keep him in back of watch and uh, put him in overwatch. Backwards. Because we get to fire as well. So, reload. So he doesn't have to worry about that, and then overwatch. Uh, reload. Weapon 
functional. Either fire or uh, cooldown. Well cool down. functional. Yeah, I, I maybe have to devour too much uh, trying taking on this game. It's very, it's a difficult game. You can't deny that. Oh, he's gonna have a hard time in the next turn. Still have two points. Uh, I think we can do like this. Moving backwards. Moving out. Then on Securing position. Slowly pulling him back. We have contact. Move it, The machine sterilizes my prayers. Well, they stopped coming from this angle. I think they've noticed now that they're we're pulling towards this direction, so they're gonna be spawning from here. Um, so we can un overwatch him. Go back and move back. You will be ready to move in the next turn, I believe, because uh, once uh, our sergeant stands over here. Uh, we're gonna flame down here and have him escape and then we're gonna move the sergeant to stand like this so he can uh, take it from the behind when they start uh, pulling over here and uh, eventually we're gonna place the sergeant over here so he nullifies this but still uh, keeps this in tra in, uh, in intact hostile targets ahead Huh, I don't see where they're coming from. And that's a problem. Uh, next turn we're gonna we're gonna start pulling back. Or we could do it like this. Uh, we, oh, they're coming from there. Uh, we could place the sergeant over here, nullifying this still while he cover down the this corridor for a little while, and then we start pulling it out. In that case, we also just uh, saves uh, the flame guy, uh, flame guy a little bit. So, I feel that's good, especially since they're spawning from here for some strange reason. He is still free. This means that we can um, free him up a little bit. And then we move the flame guy over here next turn. And then we can start moving these up uh, towards the, the cat. And later on, we're gonna free him up as well. <coughs> now they're coming here. And they're coming, they can't stop coming, they won't stop coming. Weapon functional. Let's see, we do like this, we fire one round. Free him up and reload. Move up, up, up. Uh, place him My like this. Place him like this. 
We're not gonna free the sergeant just yet. We need to have a uh, breach uh, he head over here. This means that we need to sacrifice one of our troopers to start moving up in this direction. It could be a problem because we have a door over here. Uh, and it seems like an open area here as well. Okay. We have one over here. Strange that we see him also. We need to read the book. Well, we could make the 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 stupid decision of moving him here. Have him covering, covering down that corridor. Meanwhile, we're gonna move him up here. He is gonna cover them from behind, and hopefully, we can nullify this one uh, before we start uh, going down for the cats, getting that one. No mercy. Yeah, they came. Are they gonna attack? Oh, they did not attack. Thank the Lord, they did not attack. Unfortunately, he's just out of range for uh, uh, the machine spirits have answered my prayers. Uh, bolt fire. But okay, so. But in the next turn, we still at least Stay alert, have him in Overwatch. He will kill them when they try and move. Uh, same is with you. Overwatch protocol initiated. So we will move one in to nullify this uh, nest. Uh, he can go for the cats and then slowly pull back. And then we we'll start moving down this corridor here until we get to the end of the line. It's gonna be a long mission. Mm -hmm. But it will be worth it, especially if no one dies from it. Where did they come from is the question. Affirmative. Ah, nullified. Hopefully we can see this uh, mess now. Oh. Can we see in that direction though? Can you fire upon? I can fire upon this door. <laughs> uh, don't think we're gonna do that though. I'm gonna. Block you like that. Still blocked, and then we can see what's uh, down here. You, meanwhile. Hopefully there's not a nest over here, otherwise that would be very unsettling. You still have overwatch down here, because that's the most likely where they're gonna come from. Oh, why haven't I put you in overwatch? That's very stupid of me. My aim is true. Very stupid of me indeed. See, I wonder if there's something down here. Is it like an open corridor? Uh, Advance, brothers. It seems like an open corridor. I think that's where our place to go later on after this then. Oh, sorry about the, 
the camera angles is worthless in this game. Go and get the cat. I, think, I am pretty sure that is the cat however. I hope it is the cat, otherwise I would be very disappointed. Something tells me that the biggest... Oh, they're coming down there as well. And the middle. Oh, you faced off a lot of the uh, enemies down there. Is this the cat thing? It's very uns. Maybe this isn't the cat thing. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Uh, you're the only one I haven't done anything with. There isn't much you can do with him at the moment. We got the cat! But you're out of uh, experience points or uh, action points now. Alright, now is gonna come the, the difficult part of uh, settling down here. So now we're gonna form a beachhead over here with two of our marines. Then we're slowly gonna pull off the sergeant uh, and uh, backwards over here while uh, also covering down the, the corridors. Oh, yeah, because I want all of my troopers to be up here together so they can fire in all directions when it needs to be. that they, we try and reload the flamethrower uh, before we run out, out of uh, he has three flames left that's the only thing we have three flames left or we could do a very uh, naughty thing of uh, running away with the sergeant while the flamethrower guy flames down the corridor the, cor uh, the sergeant put, uh, puts up uh, what they call uh, covering position over here and then uh, we fall, fall back with the flame guy and then we reload him before we move on so we get to use these three flames uh, before that but for that in order to work we need to put him in the right direction so he can be ready to flame down this corridor when it needs to be Okay. They Thankfully, we will have two uh, marines now that will uh, cover down this corridor. Clear to fire. Uh, so that gives us a little bit of uh, sense of direction. All right, we have this one coming from here. Let's do the daring move of moving the sergeant. Uh, put you out of Overwatch. Oh, 
you can't move and you can't fire. This is gonna be uh, a disaster. Made for disasters. Just because he had one less uh, point than I, than I needed him to have. God damn it. Okay. This is gonna be fun. As I imagine would happen. Uh, let's move you straight up here. I have movement, brothers. You are gonna do the important thing of just flaming down this area. Should we have a long or a wide? Go for wide. Oh, they're, they're clever. They're gonna come from the side now. Clever girls. And uh, you're still out of points. They are close. Then we put uh, one mass. Uh, or should we go for the long one? Let's go for the long one. you like that. Change direction. And then put you in forward. Next turn uh, we're gonna uh, place a flamethrower guy over here. Then we're gonna use our last flamethrower down this corridor before we reload him. Uh, reload you and put you in Overwatch. Nope, keep you in Overwatch, I mean. You, however, are also gonna be put in Overwatch. Securing position. <laughs> I have movement, brothers. Enemy sighted. those that are coming in here. Ha! Enjoy this. Next time we're gonna reload him and then we're gonna see if we can move him forward so that uh, he can fall back uh, through here. Put you out of overwatch. Let them come. No. Uh, so he can fall back through here. Is the is the point of all this? Oh man. Like this. Target. My bullet has failed. Target. Now, reload. You are gonna exchange uh, place here. So the sergeant is always at the back. Watching for enemy contact. Affirmative. Then uh, we're gonna try and get the flamethrower guy. Could make a run for him in this direction. Next turn. Uh, like this. And then we're gonna have him fall back like this. Yeah, it's gonna be messy. It's gonna be messy. See, you need to reload. Obstruction removed. I'm still wondering why they can only move one tile at a time. So 
So you have with all due haste like this. Resuming fire. Going into Overwatch. Fall back with the flamethrower guy. Uh, you are not of reloading just yet but we can still move you forward a little bit I wonder where what leads up here I imagine this is the place we need to get to still have four points ah there's the nest Let them come. we can nullify that one uh, we will have much less of a problem later on Securing area. You're all out. You are gonna go out of Overwatch. Reload. The machine spirits have answered my prayers. Keep you in Overwatch for now. I uh, would really like to try and back him up. I think uh, if we manage to nullify this nest over here, it will be easier to pull these back later on. So we're gonna place the flame over fire flame go flame throw a guy over here, these two over here, and then uh, we sl start slowly for the move from wind and forward. Because as you can see, they start responding more over here than they do down here. It's because they sense that this is a higher urgency. Uh, just go for a full on nullify right right away. The problem is that we already have a couple of those down here. Go slowly. No need to rush it. Going into Overwatch. Especially since this is still a problem. You can now. Start moving backward. Clear a path. And still be of use. Not comes the question if we should start pulling back because I don't think they're gonna come from this angle here. So I think we can start uh, pulling back the sergeants in the similar ma in similar fashion. Move. Brothers. Now, your overwatch is over. The machine spirits have answered my prayers. Still have one more to go. Securing position. Resuming fire. Yes, my lord. Still three points to go. Holding position. I would really want to open those doors because I want to see what they lead to. Uh, we can do that with this guy. Uh, now that we managed to pull them back a little bit. So while they move forward, he can go and explore what's inside there. I imagine that they start coming from down here after this. No, no, no. 
Somebody tried to come from behind. So we can do the daring thing of keeping him in overwatch while the other one go into uh, what do you call a nullifying uh, phase. Yes, Commander. And Stay nice. alert, brothers. Clear a path. There we go. One less to worry about. You meanwhile are gonna go and open this door. Let's see what's in there. It could be that the treasure is inside here. We're gonna walk to the. Let's see. Uh, it could be good to keep this corridor cor uh, in case they try to sneak in this route while we pull back the sergeants so we We're can flame them out. Waste. Always think of all the routes. You need to reload. Yeah. Still have one point to go. Not very useful for me. Not in the moment, at least. But the captain that they are gonna go for the sergeant right now. <coughs> Let's explore. It wouldn't surprise me if this is a room full of. Uh, What the heck is this? It's an empty room, completely useless. Should have imagined. Should have imagined. You have the cats. <laughs> Can't uh, go into Overwatch. Can't do anything much at all. I think we're gonna place you over here, so you can uh, cover down this corridor a little while. Uh, my biggest concern is that the Turnish jeans is gonna come from this area. Uh, really? Weapon functional. Still cannot move. Thankfully, the sergeant is a very capable fighter. Pull them off as long as, uh, but it's a standstill because uh, he cannot move, so it would be have to be a rushing moment once we decide to do that. Let's see, we're gonna place you over here. With ah, there we have the nest. So we can cover down this where they're nesting from. You come, continue to keep a watch of full eye over there. The moment we can start putting that back to sergeant is the moment we're gonna do so. One point more. Well, next turn I expect that you Let kill them. Come. My aim is true. I'm surprised that they haven't come for this guy yet. Objective now you wonder why you're moving forward. That's because you're gonna ease for him when he but walks past us and go and check out the next room. Still having it easy, uh, still having it easy, kind of easy, uh, so mo moving slowly forward. Where the 
malfunction. Oh damn it! They're, they're multiple targets acquired. They're getting uh, closer. Hopefully, the, that we have three terminators over here will keep them occupied of uh, trying to attract our attention here instead. Do like that. Open the door. You cannot open the door, but you can shoot at it. Weapon operational. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be a tricky one. Uh, I, I sense that they're pushing here on the sergeant, so uh, he's gonna uh, get uh, wielded down, so to speak. But to say so, it doesn't say that we need to escape with all of the Terminators, it, we only need to escape with the cats. So if we're lucky, that means that we can uh, the machine spirits have answered my just escape prayers. with one of them and uh, uh, hopefully that will be it. Is there anything in here? No, it doesn't look like it. So, now we're gonna uh, put him over here, take over his place, and then we're gonna fall back with the cat guy. Yes, that's his uh, new nickname, cat guy. Uh, hopefully the sergeant will hold out. The, the problem is that if we escape, and we realize we need to escape with all five of them, that means that uh, it would uh, most likely kill the sergeant. He will not escape that, uh, <laughs> he will not live out the escape. Take over his place. Uh, we we'll escape with you in the next turn. What an operational. Still having a shield time over there. Obstruction removed. Uh, reload in next time. <coughs> I really hope that the sergeant uh, won't die here. Holding position. Uh, put you out of. Uh... Now we're gonna do the daring move of actually moving him. My biggest concern is that there's a way out here. Uh, so the tyrannies have an option of going this route instead. And that would take us completely by surprise. And it wouldn't surprise me at all. Obstruction removed. I would never be able to beat this on harder difficulties. Reloading, cool down. Can we go while you're standing there? Weapon operational. Okay, here it comes. In the next turn, we will see if the turnips or the gene stealers will kill me or if they. Continue that. First of all, reload. I think the mission would be way too hard if you were expected to uh, escape with all of them. Uh, 
I don't like the way that it, you can actually walk down that corridor there. Especially that you don't see what's over there. Uh, Authority. Next turn we'll see if he's dead. Target. Heading sighted. Resuming fire. So now I take the, the largest risk ever. If I go out at him, we, they would definitely exit with the cat. The problem is that I lose a marine that could uh, hold down some firing position. Uh, well, it doesn't look like it doesn't matter. Uh, hope for the best now. Oh yes, thank lord. We did not need to go out with all of them. Severus has grown to be my favorite, but that is only because I like the name, nothing else <laughs> that makes him stand out. Uh, well, that's everything for today. Thank you much for watching this. See you around, everybody. Bye-bye.